Hey guys, it's Joan. It's Monday morning and the FedEx truck just came and delivered my Stampin' Up! order. So let's see what I got. Alright, here is my order form. So, this I'm really excited about. The Stitch Stockings stamp set and as always I will put my uh, you can see how cold it is I see a little condensation right there <coughs> excuse me I will put my web page down below for Stampin Up or you can go and order 24 7 you can order what you want and have it shipped directly to your home and then I got the um, stocking punch that coordinates with the stamps and I'm really excited about this. I'm going to use this for my workshop and for cards. Then I got the uh, stays on Stampin' Up! stays on cleaner for my stays on ink pad. Move that out of the way. Then I got the Cherry Cobbler Baker's Twine. The Stampin' Up! Bone Folder, <coughs> which my understanding is that it is made out of real bone. So, and that's supposed to, um, because it's made out of bone, it's supposed to be really effective and not do funky things to your paper is my understanding. You like my technical ability to describe things? Alright, and then this is the specialty paper in Mocha Morning. And these things are so hard to get apart. They wrap these very well, and I find it difficult to get into the shrink wrap. Here we go. If you want any further information about any of these products, just let me know. And if I don't know, I'll see what I can do to uh, get the info for you. So there's that one. And the back is this brown and cream colored polka dot. And of course you get two of each. This one's beautiful. It's gold with a tiny bit of shimmer and brown. And it's in that design. The gold, brown, and cream stripe. There's this one. It's a flourish pattern. And the cream and the brown polka dot. Here again is that beautiful gold background and then the darker brown pattern on it. And that's the back of that really nice. These you could do so many things with. You could do masculine cards. You can do just real elegant um, projects. This is flocked and this is beautiful. That's black flocking or real dark brown. It's hard to tell. And those are blank on the back as I assume these are. So the gray and the black flocking. Aren't these elegant? This would be so pretty to put into a frame and um, do a frame project, a picture frame. And then this is Letters to Santa designer paper. 
and I'm just using my teeth to rip this off. <laughs> oh gosh. I'm excited. I'm going to go over to Vinny's this afternoon and we're going to do some crafting. So I'm definitely going to take that stocking stamp set and punch. So letters to Santa. And these have the bingo squares. Holly and Jolly. These are really cute. So two of those. And the a diagonal stripe in the red, green, and white. And I will tell you the coordinating colors if you want to know. And here is the text. And this is in brown. So I'm not sure if it's chocolate chip or early espresso. I think it's chocolate chip. It doesn't look quite as dark as early espresso. And here's the blue stripe. In the back. I love these ornaments. I love this paper. And uh, the squares with the dots in the center. Again, it's the brown. And this page says, Making Christmas Merry and Bright with the ornaments. And then a diagonal stripe. Here's another one that I just love. The postage stamps. Santa, Nutcracker, Ornaments, Santa's Sleigh, and the back is, uh, it has Santa, the Santa stamp and the postmark from North Pole, and postcard. And North Pole, Alaska, just a little trivia, is only about 11 miles from Fairbanks, and they have the Santa Claus house. They do have a website for the Santa Claus house. It's really cool. And this one, he's going to find out who's naughty or nice. And that's it for that paper stack. And I got um, the neutrals cardstock. So it's the white, white crumb cake, basic black, early espresso, and the chocolate chip, I believe, are the colors in here. And this is 80 pound. There's the white. Whisper white, I believe. And, oh boy, that isn't showing up. Is that going to make it any better? The cream. You know, it's so hard here during the winter because we just don't have any daylight. So this is more of a green. And this must be the crumb cake. So um, a couple days ago I looked and they said that um, the sun would rise at 10.13 a.m. or 10.03 a.m. and set at 3.13, something like that. And here's this beautiful gray. And this brown. And then the black. So that's the neutrals. And I don't remember the colors that come in this off the top of my head. And then the last thing that I got are the worksheets. So these are the grid worksheets and they have the Stampin' Up! logo here. So these will be for my workshop and just for me to use when I'm doing videos demonstration. I'll put this down on my cutting mat because I don't have the Stampin' Up! cutting mat. You know, you got to add these things slowly. Can't buy everything all at once. So, 
that is my little Stampin' Up! haul, and I'm going to ask Vinny if it's okay if I do a video showing her craft room, because it's beautiful. So, alright you guys, you take care. I hope you had a wonderful weekend, and happy Monday. Monday is always my Sunday. And, um, I will just talk to you guys soon. Okay, take care. Thanks for watching. Bye.